Today we are taking apart a GE 100 volt DC pitch motor. We're going to check out the bearings, make sure they're all good, and then put it all back together again. Here's your PPE and your tools. Go ahead, press pause if you need to read these. And make sure you're working on the correct motor. First off, you got to clean it. Use a 6 millimeter Allen wrench to remove the fan casing. Use a flathead screwdriver to remove the metal belt. Use a 5mm Allen wrench to remove the three bolts from the housing for the brake. Using a 7 32nd inch Allen wrench, loosen the bolts of the encoder housing and pull the brake pad towards you. Repeat this process until you can manually remove the brake pad from the gear. The exterior encoder metal casing can now be removed as well. Use a 3mm Allen wrench to remove the set screws of the gear. Remove the gear and use a bearing puller if needed. Make sure to lubricate the threads on the puller as well. Once you take off the clip, be careful with the encoder and give it a little wiggle wiggle to get it off the shaft. Using a ball pen hammer and a punch, remove the key. Using a 13mm socket wrench, you can take off the four through bolts. Use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to remove the PT100 housing. To be able to remove the PT100's wire, you have to use a 3mm Allen wrench. Check the brushes, but do not touch them with your fingers. Use a flat head screwdriver to pull back the brush spring and carefully pull on the brush's connecting wire to inspect them. Here's an example of a damaged brush. You can now manually remove the brake side of the housing. Go to the other side of the motor, the stator side, and remove the four through bolts with the 13mm socket wrench. You can remove the stator side of the housing as well now. If needed, use a ball pen hammer and flat head punch to pry it loose. Back on the brake side of the housing, use a flat head screwdriver to remove the three screws from the housing. Manually remove the housing from the rotor. Use a bearing puller and remove both bearings. And remember, if the bearings have any damage, they are to be disposed of immediately. Heat your bearings up to at least 220 degrees Fahrenheit to get them back onto the shaft. Reassemble the stator side of the housing and use a 13 millimeter socket wrench for the through bolts. Welcome to the ninth circle of hell. Place the rotor shaft back into the brake housing and erect into a vise. Line up the three flathead screws from the bottom and upward through the bearing plate's three openings. You can try paper clips from the top in order to line up the holes. Creative cursing is optional. Use a 3 16 inch Allen wrench to replace the PT100 housing and the wire holder using a 3 millimeter Allen wrench. Use a 13 millimeter socket wrench to replace the four through bolts on the brake side. Manually replace the encoder, the clip, and the key. Replace the gear and tighten the gear set screws with a three millimeter Allen wrench. Replace the exterior encoder metal casing using a seven thirty-second inch Allen wrench. Replace the brake pad and then use the 5mm Allen wrench to put the three bolts back into the housing for the brake. Use a flathead to replace the belt and replace the fan housing with a 6mm Allen wrench. Once you finish, clean up your station, put away your tools and congratulations, you will never be clean again.